We join our ranger here in Queensdale. It was just another day. We are at the guard tower and crossing waypoint near the Bar Circus Ranch. The NBCs are talking about pie. And our little hero is dancing on top of a tower. It's a nice change of pace from what we've been doing. But as we know, no one makes a story that is boring. This is the calm before the storm. <laughs> Suddenly, there is Awaken invading the area! Dun dun dun! Our hero springs into action. Well, you know, kind of glides over there. There are Awakened at the ranch, and our little reporter goes into reporting mode to, you know, get the word out. And this sneaky little bandit wants to take all the glory. Or maybe photobomb? Maybe they're lonely. Anyways, we see the invasion is clearly underway. Our little hero crushes the awakened. See those furies fly. And as we assess the damage, we see lots of players in this seemingly ordinary ranch. Do we all just love this ranch? Do we all just stay around here? Is there some magic force that brings us together? Ah, that's a story for another time. We are talking about this invasion and our little hero. And this cow, wait, this cow? It is literally standing there. This cow will run as a sign of harpies, but will stay for the joke of invasion. Does it know something that we don't? Does it have some magic force knowing that we will be victorious? Anyways, let's go, you know, tag the monster. Even role players need to, you know, get loot every so often. Take some time out, you know, to play the game. And as the invasion is coming down, because we only care about the one champion, we realize this is only the beginning of the invasion. We have a choice to make. Same with this poor Joko minion and its weird hairstyle. I wonder if Jokin blood is good for plants. Hmm. Anyways, we go back to um, Beetle Stone and we see no one. There's like no one here. Oh, but this one guardsman from Beetle Run. I wonder if Codicus still pays them. I'm thinking too much about it. But I do like their form. I am a ranger and I notice their stance. It is a great stance. I wonder if they get tennis elbow. But the jo the awakened fall very easily. Oh, look at that spin. <gasps> Did it just disappear? That is really epic magic just poof you just that red circle is the only reason why i saw it It just goes poof and then suddenly our hero goes to get some wood because you know harvesting is always needed and we find that we have to go somewhere else dun 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 there are more attacks so we will join our hero Going back to where it all began. Our ranger is a human after all, and everyone can recognize this iconic castle and this bridge. What are we protecting? We're protecting the castle once again. 
as the centaur stampede, as they always do, the Joko are met with not only players and not only Seraph, but the catapults. If you look closely, you actually might see them next time you're here. The Seraph do put up a very good fight. Oh, see? You see that? Yeah. Now, tell me, does it feel good to come back here? This awakened messed with the wrong hero. He thought that as a reporter, I would not know how to defend myself. But as the health whittles down to an end, we take a moment to check our loot, as all good role players do every so often. And we see the last survive, well, the last minion to be taken care of. And the Seraph do a very good job. But we are left with questions. Is Joko's magic like the fairy godmother and only works for 12 minutes? Will baby Orin grow up to be a dragon just like her mother? Will she suffer the same fate? And will our spider get out of the way to take a decent picture? These questions and more. This role-playing series is to be continued. Ada out.